All right, and we're on the next page, starting with question 13. We're asked which quadratic functions have the smallest minimum value. Recall that minimum values refer to specifically just the y value of the vertex. So this is one where we do have to look at each choice, unfortunately. We can't answer this outright. And luckily, it is multiple choice. So we can utilize our calculator to help us find the vertex. We don't have to do it by hand. Um, the formula we would use there would be negative b over 2a. And we're going to actually talk about that with choice 3. But for this one, we just simply type it in. Remember when you're looking in your table, you're looking for the symmetry around that point. It happens at negative 1, negative 7. For 3, we have our binomial x plus 5 times x plus 2. Now, what you could do here, um, and I'm going to do it momentarily, we could FOIL this out. We couldn't box method this. Um, you know, you could type it in as is into your calculator. So why, why would this be required? Perhaps if you're interested in actually finding the vertex, because notice you won't find it just by scanning in a standard table. And you'll see why once it's foiled out, our B value is seven. So when I do my negative B over two A, it's gonna be negative seven over two or negative three and a half. So that's the reason why we weren't seeing anything in our table. We can change our table to go by halves. There's a few other options you can do there, a few other features um, to find the vertex, but negative three and a half doesn't matter to us. We're interested in the y value, ends up being negative two and a quarter, negative 2.25. So, so far, we can kind of cross off choice three because negative seven in choice one is right now the smallest minimum value. We're looking for the smallest number possible. The graph is going to be the easiest one to find the minimum. That's going to occur um, right where the vertex is. We could literally see that right on the bottom of our graph. Just simply a matter of counting. We see it's at 2, negative 10. Meaning our smallest minimum value, or minimum value, sorry, would be negative 10. And the table, I should say this would be even easier, just simply negative 6. Notice the symmetry around it tells me 1, negative 6 is the vertex. So now that we have four numbers, basically which one is the smallest, that would happen to be choice 2. For 14, which one is not a linear? Linear functions, recall, have a constant rate of change. We're looking for things that indicate that. Choice 1, we see $10 per month. That's a constant rate of change. Choice 2, no matter what the initial value here, $3 per mile, that's a constant rate of change. Twelve fifty per hour, they were very nice here, and they keep saying the word per. So obviously choice four, what is four? If it's not linear, this would be exponential. This would be going down by 15% or multiplying by 0.85 every year. It's your classic exponential function. Anything referring to linear exponential, we're looking for... Um, a constant rate of change, or some pattern of multiplication for exponential functions.